Sasha Banks is a competitor so sure of herself and her abilities that she's taken to calling herself the Bullcrap. A reference to her being the standard by which all other superstars must measure themselves. I have other apt nicknames for Sasha too. The Backstabber, the Spotlight Hogger, Ms. Narcissist. Should I go on? Okay, Corey, despite your opinion, Sasha's success has set a high bar for all women to reach. Then you have Candice LeRae, someone who went from being the type of competitor praised for her enduring spirit to now someone who stabs friends in the back to get ahead. The sad thing is, she has too much talent to be taking so many shortcuts. Well, praise and friends don't pay the bills now, do they, Saxton? Candice came to the necessary realization that the only way that truly works is the Gargano way. Okay, so she needs to rely on herself, and that's it. A fine change, if you ask me. Oh, 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 oh. The boss is firmly in command. Candace needs to find a way to grab the reins. Caught with the cutter. The Gargano way not exactly helping Candace out there. Yeah, talk about a blueprint. Taking flight. Back with a splash. Make your legs go numb. Candice LeRae is not the type of competitor who's going to win when it comes to the power game. So I hope she's willing to be crafty. She's got to be quicker and smarter than her opponent here tonight if Candice wants to stand a chance. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And she's a step ahead of Banks. And Candice needed that badly. Candice trying to bring the fight again in this one. She sent flying into the corner. Counter by Candace. Oh, smash! Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now oh, into a power bomb. She manages to get control. Kick to the gut. Insuring back. Oh, that can rock you. Contact there. Oh, right to the back. Ah, look at this. Arm breaker. Powerless position to be in right now. Up and over all the way to the floor. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Taking flight. Oh, just completely off target there. Using the letter, get into her head. Swinging neck breaker. A steady stream of moves taking out Lorraine. Now I don't see Sasha Banks slowing down whatsoever. Bankrupt. That is why Sasha is the blueprint. Build your foundation on top of that. Beautiful. Under the rope she goes. The boss ready for something big. the break. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Oh, uh, that looks like a torturous position to be in. What's gonna happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around. She just gotta shift her body just a little bit to get out of this. I don't know, Cole, it looks bleak. Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. Right in the bread basket.
You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to... Just a huge win for Sasha Banks. Yeah, the boss has got to be feeling good after that one. set for this tag match with Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. And across the ring we see from Kel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai. These teams have scouted each other very well. They've probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Ooh. And oh my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Ooh, look at her answering back. Uh-oh. 
Look at this! Uh oh, it's right. Yeah. Lynch may be slowing some here. Can she score the pin? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Could be in search of a second win now. Able to tag her partner. Schoolboy. Wait, no! She's given us all a chance to bask in her effervescence. Power drop kick! She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. There's the bulldog! Tagged into the action. And she'll make the tag. She's sent to the outside. <laughs> Big form. Two. No, that clothesline hurt. Holding on. Three. For more. And a second. I say the third time the charm. Will that be the case? Is right. Fall slam. She's forced onto the defensive now. Six. Seven. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Oh yeah, Eight. she is really getting fired up. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from her opponent. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it, too. Into the turnbuckle. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Oh, reversal catches Gonzalez. Bill Air now trying to capitalize. Oh, my God, what an elbow. To the gun. Ooh, brutal form. A oh, submission. Just extending parts that don't extend. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Could be. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in.
three competitors at odds with each other. Now look to settle things in this triple threat match with Nikki Cross, Io Shirai, and Tegan Knox. The significance of this match being no countouts or disqualifications can't be understated. Not only do you have to worry about a second opponent, but you gotta worry about your adversaries fighting dirty and it being perfectly legal. Hurricanrana. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Bam, what a slap. Uh -uh. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. It's a recipe for crack ribs. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. I don't care who you are, you can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. What are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's what a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation with their benefit to eliminate the mismatch. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. is maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Nikki Cross is executing her game plan. Oh, that's got to sting your back. For the clothesline. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Reversing the momentum on her. If Knox was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. From the top, she comes up empty. Ross able to avert that. What a counter. She goes back inside the ropes. Ooh. And Shirai pays for leaving an opening. Open slap disrespectful. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. <laughs> Boom! Head kick connects. <laughs> She's taking a beating here. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 She is rocked. Good timing with that reversal. Russian leg sweep. Ball oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Just breaking down the opponent. Sweeps the legs. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Punishing boot. Drop kick on target. She's starting to tire a little. This should come as no surprise. In the Haga Phil Triple Club, you need to take some big hits.
capitalizes on the misstep. Double A. Oh, Cross avoids contact. Climbs back inside. All right, she's back in, ready to go. and clung. This could be it. And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. Well, oh, pulling blow to the back.